Hey guys and girls, my name is Dave. I make vlogs, so I'm Vlog Dave. So well, it's uh, I have to look that up. <laughs> ah, oh. 11 a.m. in the morning and. Uh, well, I don't need that right now. <laughs> I am watching the Nerdstar 84 hours live stream right now and uh, yeah, Voku is the guest. Get Germanized. They're eating for breakfast and I should do the same in a couple of minutes. It's quite fun to watch. I have a coffee. I'm just a bit tired. He even greeted me, I think. It was very nice. Also, uh, some of his viewers are here in the chat. And uh, it's all pretty nice, you know, all people are pretty friendly and uh, it's nice to watch. I like it. I'm filming Vuku as he films, I don't know, the scenery of the Nerdstar 84 hours live stream, which is still running. And, uh, well, I've heard it will be even more than 48 hours, it will be close to 50 hours if they manage to do so. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, Mario Kart 8 wins the poll and uh, Vuko will play a bit. Jupp, Vuko hat zwei YouTube-Kanäle. Genau. Get Germanized ist der eine und Get Germanized Gaming ist der andere. That was a little bit of German. You know, I'm just trying out with being bilingual. So professional, yeah. Vukocraft, hashtag Vukocraft. And uh, well, what, what can I say? It's a fabulous live stream actually. I have watched, well, kind of like a couple of hours of it yesterday also. And uh, great team, great teamwork actually, because I think it's very uh, straining to put something like that up and uh, keep it going for such a long time. And uh, without much sleep and stuff, and actually, uh, I've been invited to this very live stream, um, but I couldn't go there out of time reasons, which is sad because uh, I would have liked to be there as the so-called Frühstücksnerd. It's basically what Vuku is right now. So um, it's basically they eat for breakfast and then they have a guest and. They talk about, you know, his stuff and certain things about uh, being a vegetarian and stuff like that. And it was very interesting. Ah, let's see. Masi. In what we call in Germany, in einer Jogginghose. It's like a jogging trouser thingy. And I'm Dave Dern TV in the chat can write something ihr seid gerade in einer Vlog auf Name <lacht> Meinerseits Alle mal jubeln Jubeln Wish I could type properly Da gibt's auch Gas, oh Gott, du kannst so einen verschiedenen Pump Ah, great, great stuff. 
I love Mario Kart. I haven't played it in a while though, but I would like to. Maybe someday against Vuko. Hashtag Vuko Craft. <laughs> so right now I'm just promoting myself actually via Facebook. Pretty satisfied with the first vlog so far and uh, I wonder how many people will watch it and how people will actually find it. If, if they will like it or not, I don't know. Uh, Sam Walton man actually liked it a lot and he even commented on it and uh, that was very nice. I can show you in a minute. That's my vlog face, be vlog beginning face you could even call it. And uh, yeah. This is so great. This is so great. This is so great. Sam is a role model of mine when it comes to making vlogs. And uh, he is just great in doing that. He's funny, he is uh, entertaining. And uh, I think he's quite clever and he comes across with his points quite... Uh, um, well, how should I put it? Um, infotaining, actually. So that means that he uh, can come across with information, with both information and entertainment. And that is awesome. Same with Get Germanized Vuko. And I think this will be in the same video that I record right now from the uh, Nerdstar livestream. That is still running in the background it's it's just great to vlog actually i fucking love it sorry for the swearing but uh sometimes it uh, has to be said the way it is so see you greetings to j i n t p who is a viewer of the nerd live stream right now and even from get germanized and uh yeah, he lived in Germany and he is now back in Australia. I've, I've sent him a link uh, to my new channel, of course, because maybe he would be interested in that as well. So, uh, yeah, and he seems to be. So, greetings and thank you for, uh, yeah, watching my stuff also. And, uh, by the way... Um, on the 17th of April, I will do a new live stream on Hitbox, Hitbox, yeah, genau, Dave, <laughs> on uh, hitbox.tv slash Dave Durden TV. You will find a link in the description below. Um, it's mostly in German, but, uh, you know, English viewers and uh, speakers and whatnot are welcome as well. So, um Feel free to watch. I will play three games and speak to you a bit and uh, yeah, we'll see what will happen. Vuku still playing Mario Kart 8. Is it Mario? It's Mario Kart, I guess. I don't know. You know, in the German pronunciation is Mario Kart. Quite harsh, if you ask me. And I know you do. Ich bin übrigens noch am überlegen, ob ich die deutschen Stellen dann nicht einfach unter Titel mit englischen Subtitles, aber mal gucken. Ah, okay. So, uh, see you. So, <laughs> I'm back once again and right now he's answering some questions. He was wondering that I'm still here watching this. Vuko, of course I'm here. I'm still here. I'm watching this because this is a great live stream. It's really fun to watch, not only because of you, but because of Nerdstar as well. And also, this channel will be linked in the video description below, so watch it! So what you see now is a couple of hours later and I visited my grandparents together with the whole family, basically. 
We met because of Easter and it's like a long family tradition, has always been. And uh, not only that, but we celebrate Easter with a special food, you could say. In Germany we call it Soleier. And actually I have to look up the English word for that because I don't know it. And I don't even know if there exists one. I don't know if it's a special German thing or where that comes from. That certain tradition, but it's certainly interesting. So I want to show you what Soleier are and how you eat them. So these are the ingredients for real good Soleier. Pickled eggs as they are called in English. First of all, you need pickled eggs. Not seen in this picture. But in this picture you see salt, salz, pepper, pfeffer, vinegar, essig, salad oil, salatöl, olivenöl, sonnenblumenöl. You could use any kind of oil as long as it's not something like engine oil oil or something similar. So let's go on with the ingredients. Mustard, Senf and Maggi, which is a pretty common sauce in Germany and I believe in other countries as well. You can use for soups and salads and whatnot. So this is how it works. You have several eggs and you put them into salty water and uh, you let them stay in there for, I believe, a couple of days. And once it's Easter time, you take them out and cut them in half. Once you did that, you erase the yellow of the egg uh, so that you have a little hole you can put something into. So you've already seen most of the ingredients, well, basically <laughs> was all of them. So. You begin with the vinegar and you let it drop like slowly into the hole and once you did that you come up with the salad oil and you let that drop in there as well just a tad so that the main liquid remains the vinegar and not the oil. And then you can decide on which ingredient you want to put there next. I personally go for the salt and then the Maggi. Uh, in Germany we call it Maggi Würze. It's a very delicious salad sauce and you can use that even for soups and stuff like that. And um, I really like it. And then you could add salt and pepper the way you like it. And at the end of that all you have the mustard. But be careful here, don't use too much of it because otherwise the egg would fall over and that is not what we are looking for, as you can imagine. There's actually one good advice that I could give you if you want to repeat that sometime. Try to cut off just a little bit from the egg's bottom and you have a securely standing egg. I don't know if you know what I mean, but uh, yeah, it will help you to keep the egg in its place. And last but not least, I had to use that phrase, you can eat the egg like that. It tastes very sour, but of course that apparently depends on how much vinegar you put in there. It's salty, but it's delicious somehow and I don't know why that is an Easter tradition or where that comes from, but I find it quite interesting. And one other reason I like pickled eggs, Soleier is that it reminds me of my childhood and uh, yeah, the many visits I had at my grandparents' house on Easter when the whole family met and almost all of my family members ate Soleier. By the way, thanks to my little cousin who filmed me eating the Soleier. So that basically was my personal Easter experience. I hope you liked it and if you did, just give me a little thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. Or even subscribe to my brand new bilingual vlog channel if you want to support me. Or maybe even tell your friends. You will find many other links to Facebook, Instagram and so on in the video description below as always. And yeah, 
I'd say see you next time around and have a good day. I'm your Vlog Dave. Ey, weißt du, ne? ich kriege hier nur andauernd Schulden und es ist einfach alles mal scheiße. Ja, und rausgefallen. Ich freue mich immer wieder. Oh, was würde ich in Las Vegas machen, wenn ich gewinne? Ja, ich habe kein Geld mehr seit 15 Runden oder so. Ich, kann noch, ich hab noch nicht mal Kinder, die ich verkaufen könnte. Was ist denn das? Jetzt lach nicht so. Nein, es, es tut dir nicht leid, das macht dir Spaß.